Okay, this is a three-part uh, cuck fest. We got a cuck lawyer to start out, and we have a fat-ass cocky cuck, and then we have an environmentalist uh, cocky cuck. So let's get on with this cuck fest, and uh, don't forget to you know to like and share, and of course go buy something, all that good stuff. Okay, here we go. What spurred you to do that? I had a friend who has a t-shirt, uh, like a contest. So everybody just does something funny. So I thought I thought it was, I just thought of it. And I was like, okay, let me get it made up. I got second place. <laughs> but what was first place? It was long. It said, my mama told me, before you ever do anything, think about it. So when I slapped the shit out of you, believe me, I thought about that shit. <laughs> But the third place was, you know, the Peanuts gang, you know, from yeah. uh, from uh, uh, Charlie Brown. Yeah, right. So it had a bunch of black characters, and they were doing the dance that they do. Uh -huh. And then it had Permit Patty calling the police on them. So that was third place, and that was the most popular one. But it got third. It got only got third place. Bonus. So what? Well, what is the? What did? What? What was the meaning you're trying I mean, to get it's across? Trump. It's like you know, you know, you know, he's very political. He's very po polarizing. And people just choose to say things that they normally wouldn't say. You know, like people calling the police on black people, or they walk up and be aggressive and nasty to somebody who's speaking Spanish, but you know, for no reason. What yeah. about the flip side of that? Because right now, what we're looking at is the hashtag walk away movement. Are you familiar with that? The hashtag walk away. Yeah, hashtag walk away. No, what is that? Well, it's the hypocrisy that a lot of liberals are seeing on the left, where, which you just brought up in the sense, but it's on the left, they're going, look, I'm liberal, but if I want a wall, people are calling me a Nazi and a white supremacist and everything else. And then if, you know, we're every day, there's not a day that's going by now. I mean, just two days ago, there was a guy that got jumped by a gang of 20 uh, uh, people because he was walking down the street wearing a an American flag t-shirt and they beat the crap out of him. And you know, you're a Trump supporter and they beat the but crap the out of him. But the thing was is that nobody ever did that before. Nobody ever jumped anybody because they were a Bush supporter. Nobody had jumped them because they were a... But why does that... Why does that... Be, be, how does it's that... Trump, he, he's pulling it out of people. And I, oh, so he's causing people to be violent. Look, no, I'm not you're saying, No, no, no. Your lawyer and you're going to try to justify to me I'm not that a man... Because because a man I'm says, it, and it. you're saying what? Don't, what is he saying well, that's so say polarizing to draw it. out violence that you're justifying? Because he, he he does it, building a wall, saying that. What's wrong like with Mexicans building a wall? Race. He said he wants to build the wall because the Mexicans are racist. He said no. some of no. He them. said they are. No, he said they are. With giving, he's clarified okay. that over and over again. But let me ask okay. you this: All right. What is wrong with having a border? There's nothing wrong. We have a border. We but the way it's not it. secure. It can be secure if we secure it. Well, that's what the wall's all about. No, the wall ain't good. The wall ain't good for it. So the border agents I speak to out here, the people that do the job, that are on the border, that they I've spoken to out the here, they're telling me that you're telling me that you know more than they do, and they say a, 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 a wall would help. A wall you would help. I'm saying a lot of stuff. I just walked up with a T-shirt. I'm just saying. I just walked <laughs> yeah, up with but a you're making a statements that I cannot am. be backed up. They're and happy. Uh huh. Okay. There you go. Oh, good. You, you're right. You're right. See you later. Have a good day. Uh huh. Yeah, see. <laughs> I think I won that case, there, counselor. Oh, God, he just little cockiness and arrogance, pissy and better than thou bullshit of this next little bitch. God, I would, you know, even on my worst four dog days, I wouldn't, I would have touched a woman with this attitude. Anyway, here she is, Miss Fat Ass herself. Hello there, young lady. Hi. Don't like this, but it's Democrat or Republican pissed. What Democrat. You, what don't you like about it? Hillary shouldn't be in jail. This guy should be in jail. What should he be in jail for? Everything. 
everything. What about everything that's going on right now? Like, she isn't even relevant anymore. Why are people so tired of that? No, no, no. Anyway? Everything is a very broad term. Why don't you give me a specific why he should be in jail? He doesn't, like, pay for any of his stuff. He was born out of money. He doesn't work. That does have nothing to do with his presidency. Why? His presidency is awful. We just hit a 4.1 GDP. That has been growing over, like, the last eight years. No, so no one can make that argument. We are literally the lo- laughing stock so of the world. We are. We so are. Ha- we are. Everyone so in the Europe people is I speak to, the speak people I speak to from around the world here Who that love them. Who do you speak them. to from around the world? Right here in this street, young no lady. No one comes and to New little, Orleans from around the world. You people are so steep that you, they don't. <laughs> no. I've spoken to people out here today from, from Honduras, from oh. Israel, well, from France. That's just Honduras today. Honduras is a really poor country, so I don't. I don't. I don't oh, but is it from change. around the world? Or are you just well, going to be living? Are you talking to me from your little little echo chamber? And that's all you know. What I say means nothing. What anybody else says means nothing because you got your own lip. You cannot give me a specific why this man should be in jail, yet we've got okay. crimes that this woman's committed she to. Though. Oh, she's, she hasn't what? She hasn't committed crimes. If so, she had, so she would be in jail. Oh, you think our Justice Department, oh really? Oh, that's that's your simple equation. It's true. She would oh, be in true. jail. It's true. Yeah. It's true because our Justice Department is so sacrament everything oh, no. they do. Oh, no. Our Justice Department is very corrupt. Then, then, what, then if it's corrupt, corrupt well. they've let her out of jail because she's admitted no, she to crime. Crime. She was never in so, so when they <laughs> subpoenaed her emails and she destroyed 33,000 of them while being under subpoena, <laughs> that wasn't against the law? You got it. You got it. So there, there's this. You're outside your echo chamber now, little girl. You're, out, you're outside your depth. Yes, you are. No, you, well, that doesn't mean you're smart. You're not. And I, I'd eat some salads if I were you. You're getting a little wide back there. Okay, there's a, uh, a an environmental conference in town this week. If I get a chance, I'd like to get out there maybe in the next couple of days and see if I can catch some of these ass wipes. Uh, I love talking to these alleged experts in climate science. Uh, here's an example of the, uh, this one's a great example of, uh, of other conversations I've had with these alleged experts. Ecological society. Ecological society? Right. What uh, Mr. Trump does, does not like. Oh, well, can I ask you a question about that? Because I, I helped start the Institute for Environmental Alternatives with Professor Ron Cohn back in 1971 so I'm I'm fairly well schooled with this I lived with scientists for three and a half years studying this yes and I always have a question about this that I I have I I just nobody's been able to answer maybe you can answer this for me I'm not very sure if nobody well it's a simple question because it it goes directly to the very basics simple questions are the worst the most challenging to answer. That's, I guess, why that's why a lot of people that are in this so-called, you know, environmental globalist warming class believers uh, refuse to debate with people who are skeptics, like myself, who are schooled myself in this subject. So, what is the question? Yes. Uh, as I understand it, the CO2 is the is the big boogeyman. Am I correct? That's the we have to reduce the emissions not of CO2. Only the, not the only one, but it is the major thing. It is the major thing. So it's the one they tax. Okay. Can you tell me one? What is the percentage of CO2 in the atmosphere now? What has it been for the past hundred years? And two, if it's the boogeyman, if it's a C, it's the thing we have to control. We have to get to the optimum level of CO2. What is that optimum level? What would be the perfect sustainable level of CO2? Can you answer those questions for me? Well, considering what we have to have every day, 
in order to have a good life, but not an extremely good life as you have here Americans, for instance, I am a bit amazed that when I go into a building, I am chilled so much that I have to put something on me during summer. I do not understand that, why you are so extreme? You can, instead of having, I don't know, 65 Fahrenheit degrees inside, you could have 72. You're not answering my question, I ma'am. do not answer your question. You're not answering my question. No, I'm no. asking you, you're giving me all this hoobla about, oh my God, you live so much. You, you're out, you have to get out of that 98 degree, 95 degree humidity and come into this very chilly, oh my God, I hope I you don't freeze to my, death or melt to death. True. But In my hotel, I have... Ma'am, you're not answering my question. Yeah. Uh, if CO2 is the problem, if that's what's causing global warming and the reason we have to have air conditioners, if the CO2 is the problem, please tell me, as a scientist, someone that's in the field, what percentage of the atmosphere is now CO2? It's uh, uh, 380 something parts per billion which was, well, um, 50 years ago, it was 340. So it has augmented... So around, less than half of 1%. Around, it's a trace element. No, no, it's not, uh, it's not 1%. It's no, 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 ma'am, it's half and left... 10%. Ma'am, 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 at 0.04%, has it been that way for a long time? Now, uh, and if you, care to, if you care to look this up, I mean, we can look it up. I will, okay. I will challenge you. Can we go back to that? Now, I, I, the second to part that. of my question, what would be to make the climate perfect? You know something. What would be the been. perfect, what would be the perfect level? What, what is the optimum level of CO2 we should have? Now, you gave me what your think is, and it's wrong. 340, we have been doing very well. Well, take this away. Why well, are you intimidated by my microphone or the eagle? I do not know what it is. Uh, Obviously, it's something you're exposing your complete fraud. 340, we have been very well uh, for many years. Why, why not doing that? Well, what is that? Why, but so you're, you're against people living well, living comfortable. No, no. I'm be well, I am uh, not against comfortable uh, living people, but I am against people that they live so comfortable. Why? What is business it is of yours? Okay. What business is it of yours? Lady, how other people live, what business is it of yours? Who are you to butt in? Communist? Well, there we go. That was a perfect example of a bullshit scientist that...